if you have read the book of Job, somewhere around the 38th chapter, you can see Job's conversations with God recorded there where Job is asked a couple of questions by God and one of those questions is to Job where were you when I made the foundations he asked he asked him if you knew all of these the answers to these questions then breathe them declare it state what you know if you know it all <laughs> so it's clear that we don't know it all and it should become more evident to us each day that we don't know it all. And it is not within us just as we willy-nilly walk around. Uh, we don't have all the answers within inside of us. We have some parts of the answer. We can see some parts of the explanations in our environment. We can sense from our five senses, our emotions, our thoughts, parts of the explanation, part of the understanding of who God is. But we must depend on the scriptures. It is, after all, the only complete work that we have. Why would we depend on chaotic constructions of logic and reason when we have a firm foundation in the scriptures? Why would we dilly-dally among various fantasies and feelings when we have the facts laid bare in scripture why allow our limited experiences to deceive us with only fragments of the truth when we have the whole truth in scriptures So, we will begin to examine five characteristics of God, his power, his mercy, his love, his unchanging character, his immortality, and his justice. And by examining some of the names of God, we will also explore who God is as he is revealed in Scripture. <clears throat> and some of those names you are probably familiar with like El, El El Yon, El Olam, El Elohim, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Sidkenu. You've probably heard some of those titles. And if you haven't, we will discuss them and we will go through the various scriptures that speak to those different names. In our next episode, we will continue to explore all of the 
or as many of the attributes as we can so that we can better develop a concept of who God is, what God is, and where God is. Thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to continuing this exploration with you. Remember that on Friday nights, the beginning of the Sabbath, I will provide to you a review and preview of our previous episodes. And then every Saturday at 3 p.m. prior to the end of the Sabbath, we will continue our exploration in Bible study about biblical issues. I welcome your questions and your participation during our live chat. You're able to sign in, ask questions, and I will entertain your questions and comments as I see them come in uh, on the chat line. And uh, basically biblical, again, is offered to you and I enjoy your participation. It is not a requirement of anyone who joins in to be a Christian or to even believe in the Bible. We are all exploring together. Also, uh, as I stated before, I do not take donations here and I would encourage you to donate or contribute your time and talents and your resources to those area um, organizations or people uh, directly that you see in need, uh, perhaps even through your, your home church if you have one. I appreciate your joining me and I look forward to our future time together. Thank you and have a blessed day.